Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our Poland campaign in EU4 with me, host Green, where we have to build a spy network on Russia, or I would like to anyway. Who do we have? Morale of armies, diplo rep, missionary strength. Do we have anything to missionarize? You have zeal, don't you? Zeal and zeal. Is there something better than missionary strength then? No, you were, you were three at half price. Admin points are important. We'll be good. We'll be good. We can get quite a few more states. <clears throat> but I'm going to hold off on stating much just yet. Although I could state and unstate. I could state and then unstate. I don't have to properly state up. I know what I mean. What else? Probably stuff down there as well. Why oh, can't Austria Traveland? Yes, definitely. What about next? Perm and Estonia. Perm's a little bit out of the way, though. Perm probably just because of... Because it was an ex-capital... Where are you? Perm. Yeah. Yeah, ex-capital of Perm itself. Yeah, go on then. I wanted to state this stuff down here so we could start giving it out to the Cossacks. What else? Samog... Samog... Wait, what? Where is that? Goes over here. Next. Caravan, Finland. So I'll get you started. I think we're just going to be able to state a lot of things. And there we stopped. There we have stopped. I mean, we've stated it, but we're not going to go down this list and probably make it an uber goal. But in Bodo, for example, it will have. Here we go. Yeah. Drops the autonomy to 50%. And you have to you have to properly get it called um, spend admin points again to allow that to come all the way down to zero but I'm not going to do any of that I will however give the Cossacks some more land over here so I can give you that's all I can give you need to eat more into here they like the step, do the Cossacks. So yeah, all of that there. Anyway, Cossacks. Let's do that. Capcom Bibliotty comes up to 10. I need to get their influence up to 40, I think. To get special Cossack troops. How oh, What are we waiting for? On oh, the Boyaz and the clergy demand that stuff. Let's give you stuff over here. No, it's fine. We can give them the crap line. That did absolutely nothing. Mm. 
There we go. What else? Three percent. What else? Zero point four. I at least want to limit what I give them to a bad trade good. Green is particularly bad. No, you come on. Where else lose 10 loyalty? What? Gain 25 devastation in Kursk. Which one's that? Operation here. I don't mind this. Declare war for colonialism. No, not colonialism. Oh, of course, Rigas are going to come in on this. We could wipe out we Riga. No, we could wipe out Riga really quickly. Ships out. Fairly certain you're fixed by now. Are you not? You are. So we're protecting trade in not the Baltic. Mm. We're already at 57% of the power here. So you will be better off. Set your trade in Novgorod. Just pull some more out. We also need. I could do with another dude. I'm not sending you into a military commander. That would be silly. That's alright. First of May. Let's get amongst them. Declare war for just anything up there. We'll chuck you onto the fort. You can support. Let's give it a day for Riga to answer the call to arms and squish him whilst he's uh, got his pants down. We'll leave you there. And our minions can come and uh, see Jack Riga for us. Alright, looking good. However, long. Looks like Byzantium has mostly, yeah, I think it's accepted uh, global trade. So when we integrate Byzantium, this might come down in price. It's based on development. That's why if you increase development in various areas, or it kind of tracks autonomy. You've got autonomy in provinces coming down. This will stay around the same, even though it's it's, it's bouncing from province to province and taking provinces. Um, this will go up. It'll continue going up as your autonomy comes down. It's weird like that. Now, what I want from this fight. Can need that. Something like that would be nice. And then with the rest, I know we'll just we'll take little bits. Maybe in the north. Looks like you are all the way to the end. There's just 
Chucky. I've never seen a Chucky over here. Or maybe I have. Yeah. So we're not going to, if we cut him off here, this rusher from this rusher, we're not going to interrupt him um, with taking provinces. And this is what I wanted. Um, you, you can stamp on Muscovy really, really quickly. But I needed this. I wanted to be hanging on the coattails of a rusher that was rushing, <laughs> uh, rushing his way across to the other side of the map so that we could follow with said noodly appendage. All right, Russia, how do you fight? I don't know what's going on. He's got the manpower. Maybe he just doesn't have the money to produce troops. Can't be in debt. He has one loan. That's not enough. That is not enough to cause issues. Fifty-one ducats. Yeah, maybe we we really hurt him. He turns into the Novgorod node. We're pretty much twice as of his income. Oh, plus he's been uh, colonizing, of course. Please, can someone sort Riga out for me? And we switched them and then covered off on the province so that Riga couldn't produce any more troops, but I actually need somebody to take. Actually, you... You attach, because I know what Snovgorod's... Snovgorod? I know what Novgorod is going to do. This has confused them. No. The reason why I don't want to call these and bring them down to uh, zero autonomy is because we're going to have to unstate provinces to state Manchu culture provinces so it's just going to cost us having points in the long run I don't like the thought of that but to take away the states that we've we gave away without actually spending these points on them we can just we can just rip them out but in all of those provinces we've enabled the autonomy to go from 75 down to 50. So it's, every single state that we did state just then could be, at its maximum, 25% more profitable. Right, you detach. Let's head to Niz Nizhki Novgorod. production when it comes to stuff like this base tax is good 
it's a new it's immediate money but you will start to overtake it in terms of production now trade trade it's kind of reliant on production if you don't produce anything then there's nothing to trade this production so the more you can bump up production it has a, a knock-on effect already on trade anyway so production But churches are useful early game. They can bring you in quite a lot of ducats. Uh, but there is a, there's a phase of the game where taxation kind of phases itself out. And, uh, and production kind of overtakes it. But 35% efficient at bringing in tax. We're only 18% efficient at bringing in production. But there's, what, 8 ducats difference? It looks like they've turned around and started coming back. Cossacks gain loyalty, they gain influence as well. Good. Right, now that Cossacks have a little bit more influence, let's raise Cossack host. Here they are. Cossack host. Shock damage bonus plus 10%. That will work well. It's our combat ability at the moment 58. 58, and we haven't really even started going with the uh, Cavcom ability. As far as I'm aware, we can get at least, at the very least, at the very least, 30% more. Niji Novgorod is done. Shitting me. No one actually got onto Riga. Is this real life? I feel like I could probably just peace out Riga. I would like Riga around. Because Riga usually picks up alliances with. It's usually end up in a trade league with these guys over here. But Brandenburg seems to have eaten them all. So so maybe not. Not picked up Brandenburg as a rival now. When he does, we can feed Pomerania his cores back. Oh, Russia. That's a military. Yeah, we're too whole morale. Better off. It's no wonder he doesn't want to come and fight us. efficiency. Mm, no. I'll fight you then. And also, get you on the go. How many points can we save? 1200. Let's see how we get on here. So we start, I mean, the battle's only just started, um, but as I mentioned before, this bar needs to needs to show 7.1 morale, and it shows exactly the same here, 7.1 morale, but they start this far down the bar, because this is 5.1 morale, so they're about here, it's all relative. In the shock phase, yeah, shock phase is all right. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, we're not mega OP just yet, but we have the basis for it, the potential for it, if you will. 
Oh, we are taking out Riga. Riga, I don't need. I don't need you. Allied with Bremen, allied with Hamburg. Our aggressive expansion in the HRE can come down quite a lot. Yeah, let's just eat into it. From it, we'll take Riga as well. Yeah, we'll take Riga as well. Should have brought them in as co belligerent though, but. Mistakes were made. It's great in Byzantium. Integration is indeed a slow and laborious process. What did you have? A few trade chips. Get you into Constantinople, so I'll know where you are. Byzantium had troops somewhere. Ooh. We'll fight you. A lot of step down here. Once we've taken what we want in the peace deal, holy moly. <laughs> once, once we have taken what we want in the peace deal, I might take a chunk out of here. Oh, here. I think this is Byzantium. Was it? No. Yeah, I think it was. How do I do this? There we go. Right, so. We split. We split again. We split again until we get down to stacks of one. Grab them all, click all to one province, and then press V. And then all, and that just, it separates the bottom one or top one off. So one of them is going there, and we've got the rest of them selected. Now the rest of them go there. Press V again. Press V again. And V again. And V again. And again. And again. And again. 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 And again. And whoever's left, stay in the province. Okay. I always said I'd never do keyboard shortcuts. Because when I was learning the game, and you look at videos like this, you don't know what they're pressing. So suddenly they come out with this nonsense. And you're like, how the fuck have they done that? Because they don't tell you, they just assume that you know. Which is why I haven't done it up to, up to now, but Russia's going to be a lot to deal with. Actually, it's the first time I've done it. Yeah. But it seems to work alright. Yeah, it's definitely easier. Cossacks gain bait. Well, yep, yep, 100% yes. And where is Valor? I don't know where Valor is. Once this uh, stack has finished doing its thing, we'll send them to Valor. Or Valor adjacent, just in case that they, uh, they pop a little too soon. If I'm going to take a lump of Cossack land, i.e. step off Russia, it's going to be cheaper if we actually own it. Also. Russia. Why are you... It baffles me. It really does. I don't know why Russia is not pumping out troops. He has the manpower for it. I don't know what he's doing with these troops. I might have to reload the game. I don't want it to be that the rush is broken and we're taking advantage of it.
And a little conversion. Good. <clears throat> Alright, don't know why I merged them all up if I was only going to split them up again. Because I'm smart. Alright. There, V, there, V there. V again, V again, and again, and again, and again, again, again. The rest stay where you are. I think I got spawned that time. What is this? Oh, you're marching in towards. Well, that's fine. Croatia. I like with hungry. Strange. <clears throat> Strange but not unheard of. I'm gonna need a re to fall as well. I can come back for eager. Alright, Russia. I need that. This is just going to piss off Russia. Still just Russia. Still just Russia. But I want this as well. Alright, something like that. That gets us over to Manchu. Over extension of 66, can we eat that? We can indeed. All this is coming in as zero. Alright, we'll do that. Didn't even take the wall goal. Is there anything else that you would give us? No. Right, there you go. So, Ruxenian West Siberia, as I live and breathe. Any way to increase our absolutism before I end up calling all of this? Don't think we have rebels. No. If they are, they're all ticking away. Oh, I've got to pop corn country as well. In this age, uh... Maybe. We might do. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Let's get all of this cooldown. And away you go. Okay. All my troops. Let's have all of you into uh, Crimea or something. No, Constantinople. Byzantines have just vacated it for us. Because they're nice. You are no longer required. Keep Constantinople in fact. I should probably pull this down. 
Drinking good jelly. Don't know why it changes to optim optimality. But it is good jelly. Also buzz new. No CB. Uh, did have a CB on your one day. Once upon a time, I had a CB. Do just fossilize him. Yep, might just fossilize him. There's a lot of hungry still to eat. Um, good amount of Venice. Can even feed him bits of Espana. Bring our maintenance down. We'll also bring our forts down as well. I think we have a million of them. 14. It's close. How much do we need? No, we'll extend that long then. Still with the same mission. What have I built a force limit? What is our force limit now? 151, it's not getting any closer, is it? I'm hoping Strotsky can help us out with that. Alright, Boyaz. Let's give you... No. Wait a minute, go. Take you off the clergy. Give you to the burgers instead. Along with Sanu. And Sugula. And not Macedonia. We are 62% of 12.3 ducats. We do siphon about 8 ducats away. So we could turn it into about an 80, 80 ducat. It's about a 20 ducat now. Plus our ships down here we could probably... We could probably pull another 5 in. You already 24 ducat. Yeah, I think we just stay up here for the time being. Plus, we are starting to eat into Lubeck. Denmark, I think, needs to be the next one on the list. Oh, it brings in Russia as well. That is bittersweet. Actually, no, it's just it's just sweet, to be honest. Let's grab some claims over here. So that when we inevitably take them off Russia, they're a bit cheaper. You come home, there's no reason for you to be there. Clergy. Clergy can have that and that. And that. Boyars can have that and that. Everybody's happy. Oh, Cossacks. I don't care what it is. They're having it. Keeping the, uh, the Cossacks influence high keeps your cav combat ability high. Level 15, that's a, a really good effect. I'm going to improve relations with Bosnia. Can offer alliance. Royal marriage. Improve relations. Yeah, stop building that. We're going to bring them in peacefully. And 
we're going to feed them. Bits of Venice. Bits of Hungary. It's going to be beautiful. Military Alliance have relation of at least 190. Uh, country must be at peace. That will be fine. Let's proclaim guarantee. I'll be in there a little bit. Oh, disappointed, of course. Uh, we can offer military access, so that's another 10. Good, rigorous research. Rigorous research hits if you have plus 3 stability. Oh, well, that's nice. In a stick or two. Oh, no. Maybe not in a stick or two. Uh, let's send a gift. Nothing. Fifteenth of May. And that took my eye off the ball. My eye off the ball hit. Doing a diplo idea group. Let's grab a couple of ideas here. Just to bring it into line so they all kind of cap out at the same level. Alright, just one idea then. Even though it's a really, really, really crap one. Cost of reducing war exhaustion. Great. Has to be a really bad day if I uh, reduce war exhaustion. You're in the flat. Let's get rid of you. You're in the flat, let's get rid of you. Our tracks has come caution. Can we see anything over here? No. Briata. We declare war on you. Okay. Plus my note. Let's get ready for it. I need the land. I need the land to flip Manchu culture. you protecting trade in no crap there you go I may need boat strength down here at some point but I'll send them away 26. We can fabricate on Lund. <laughs> You're 28 development. How are you 28 development? Don't know. Let's uh, fabricate on it. That's all we need from you. To attack into you brings in Russia, I think. Yep. No, that's bad, isn't it? If it brings in Russia, then I'll our cores over here aren't going to finish. They'll get stifled. With that Austria comes in. Hungary, who we allied with? The Knights and Croatia. Croatia. Genoa and Hungary. Perfect. Need to fabricate on Croatia then. Then after. Oh. 545. Not bad. Uh, then after that we can fabricate on to and declare into the Knights to uh, drag Hungary back to war again. You come back from Denmark. I'm not certain. I know we, we did have a claim on the Knights before. Has it dropped off? It has. Still not. Still not flinching. 
we can get it for cheaper. We can get it for cheaper. Also, Bohemia. What's the chance? Chance of Ruthenia inheriting Bohemia. Minus 22. Minus 22. That's a tiny bit of inflation. I'd rather have a patriarchal authority, which does what does. Good. We're climbing right there. We'll get there. Eventually. Okay, 444 is brilliant. Even Z's out a little bit more. I was having to spend Diplo quite a lot because we were just we were uneven. One muscle. But your areas of von Hasberg. Okay. In fact, we should probably just run over to uh, Briata, shouldn't we? I say just run over. Yeah, just run over to Briata. The regressive expansion over here won't affect the people over here. Let's have a little look at the regions. We can uncover Manchuria by fabricating on Boyarata. It's going to take a while. Transoxania has gone bankrupt. Do we have access to Transoxania? We do not. By one province we do not. When you go bankrupt, you lose all of your allies. It's a brilliant time to get into someone. Anyway, be right on. Okay, okay. That's not so good. Is it an island? No, Bosnian. Okay. He's got a three star general, for God's sake. Right, you're going to have to go there as well. We will be fighting a horde, so I don't want to risk only taking half my troops. The famine of 1630. Well, probably because we were socialist. No, that's that's Russia. Russia uh, ended up with a giant famine in what was it? The 1940s, was it? Off the back of the oppression of the. No, oh, the the farmers, the rich farmers. I've I've entirely forgotten. Entirely forgotten the name for them. There was a, a name for a class of farmers that would, were doing quite well, and so there was revolts against them. And I mean, they were doing quite well because they were good at the job, i.e., making food. So if you took them into gulags, you're going to struggle to make food, and then X amount of million. I think it was about six million. Ukrainians end up dying of famine. Moscow even printed out leaflets uh, and posters and sent them to the Ukraine uh, to to tell people, please don't eat your children. That's how bad it was. This is all bad. Local goods produced and losing money and opportunity. I don't mind. Don't mind that. It's only local goods produced. It's not general goods produced. So it's not bad. What was it? It's gonna annoy me now. Class of farmers. Alright, overextension's coming. That's all the Russian overextension, isn't it? 
So that's all the Russian over extension. There we go. Uh, we might as well declare into Demont. Awesome. We'll push out Russia immediately and concentrate on trying to take stuff from Holy Navy. Yeah, there's quite a few galleys he's got there. I'm gonna have to jump into. Something with a fort and we don't have one. Got Kalmar. No. I don't know. Let's get you safe. Let's not lose boats. Should build more troops. Race Cossack host has one off. Could do with continually doing that. Okay, five at a time. Special troops, special shock damage. Love it. Until we end up with banners. They're gonna be brilliant. Spain has picked up the Defender of the Faith uh, because Britain put it down. Okay. Well, we can nibble elsewhere. Still brings it in Spain, of course. We'll go here and we'll send a good amount of troops. What am I doing here? Just blame it off on what we left with. An 18 and 9. I'll split you as well. We'll send you to Briata. We'll send you to Kandar. And we'll kick both walls off. Still in outrage countries. Crimean separatists, why? Yeah, I'm pissing you off there a lot. We're in the edge of absolutism. Oh, what a fool! What a fool! Also, so you have to go off that way as well. Quicker into uh, Burata, the better. to war soon. Our minions will take care of that.
What? We had a 444. He wasn't particularly old. He wasn't particularly old, was he? and rest guy for half price. Oh well. Clear walk for some of that. Oh, let's go. Can we get you? Not there. Can we get all the way through to the side? Maybe. Pew pew. Alright. I'll, uh, I'll kill them here as well. No one. Try for the clergy. Don't think so. Nope. Don't think so. To say it was a minus two and we didn't have a back row. Alright. And you lot covering off. On these holes. Minions dealing with that. Good. I've been doing this for nearly an hour. I do apologise for that, ladies and gentlemen. Time has got away from me. Getting a little bit giddy. But I'll leave that there. It's it's just a, a simple fight. An easy, simple fight just to uh, just to keep the ball rolling, really. Just to keep expansion going somewhere, because we were... I'm, I think I'm a little bit too focused on doing what we want to do, i.e. the turn in Manchu and then etc etc. Anyway, I've been looking as always, you have been amazing. Join me next time for more with now Ruthenia as, uh, as we try not to spend our absolutism on increasing autonomy like a pleb. Until then though, do take care.